and out today I'm here with a new video and you know when the shitty setup and lighting is coming it's time for shop my stash and you don't need to look at my shit so <laughs> hello today I am picking out my things for my shop my stash for April and I have already taken out some things that I want to use and as I said in the last video I did I am going to have drugstore this time or yeah drugstore things I'm not super good at what is drugstore what is mid-range and what is high-end but these are the cheapest things I have when it comes to blushes and highlighters uh, it was though a little bit hard because I have two highlighter from Wet n Wild I don't use Wet n Wild anymore on my channel because of the whole cruelty free thing some say it is cruelty free some say it's not because they sell in china and i have just stopped using wet n wild i have though a liquid highlighter that i really like from wet n wild but i'm not going to include it even though it i think it's like one of the cheapest highlighters i have i'm not going to include this in this video and i think I already know which things I'm going to use. I looked a little bit in my drawer and I think I picked out the cheapest things I have. I'm going to show you what things I all like blushes. I only have two like very cheap blushes. So these are going in my shop mustache, but I want to show you. And also I don't want I don't want I don't know if you want updates on shop my stash because I have start to before my shop my stash when I pick out the products I weigh them and then I weigh them in the end of the month and write down how much everything weight and see how how much of the product I have used and I use this little scale I know I am not a drug dealer I can tell you um, it looks like that <laughs> but I'm not uh, so I weigh my things and I don't know if you want any like update on that. I don't know if it's interesting for anybody else than me. So I am going to show you the things I am including in my shop my stash for April. So we just hop into this. This was a really long intro. Okay, <laughs> so I don't know how this looks. We just have to live with this, I think. So I am thinking of using this contour shade that I have used for March because I really want to pan this so this is from NYX contour kit contour kit pro I think it's called and I am going to use this in April as well because I want to use this up I want to hit pan in this it feels like I'm not going to do that but <laughs> I want to use this as my contour for April as well. So for my blushes, I like only have these two blushes. That is really drugstore blushes. I think at least I'm like trying to think what do I have more. But I think these, these are the cheapest ones. So this is from Makeup Revolution. It's their Vivid Blake, Blake blush, Baked Blush in Bang Bang You're Dead. I love the name. This is actually a really good blush. It looks like this. I don't know if all their blushes are like this when they are this baked blushes, but yeah, I am going to pick this and maybe I should swatch it. It's a really, it has a really nice, it's not that pigmented. But it has a really nice glow to it. I don't know if you can like... It doesn't look like it has any pink at all in the camera. Can I maybe... If I switch it here. I don't think you can see this at all. I can see it. It's a really light pink blush with a really, really, really nice sheen to it. I hope you can see it. So this I am taking in my shop, my stash, and also this from Sleek. This is in the color Flush. 
and this is a quite dark blush I can swatch this one as well so there you have the two blushes now I think you can see the one from revolution so I think this is really good for like two different blushes I have a really light one that is really really shimmery and a darker matte one so I think that it's going to be perfect so this wasn't so hard because I didn't have that many to choose from okay so when it comes to highlighters I have these four that I think are the cheapest one I have so I have three from Colourpop they're super super shock chic and I also have uh, this one that is an old one from H&M I think this is the cheapest highlighter I have ever bought. I love this though, so yeah. I am going to swatch all of these to see how they look and see what like I feel that I want to because I'm only taking two highlighters. So I'm going to swatch all of these. So we can start with from H&M and it's, this is insane. I paid not... I think it was four dollars maybe I'm not good at this swatch wing swatch thing so that is the one from H&M and this is Flexitarian from Colourpop and this is colder more icy and this is Lunchman from Colourpop this is actually my favorite from Colourpop so I don't think I'm going to take this because this I have used quite a lot and then and then the last one from Colourpop is Hippo and this is a purple one I like haven't used this at all it looks a little beat up because it came crashed Okay, so these are the three highlighters and they are actually pretty different. I didn't thought that they were going to be this different. So the one from H&M is really peachy and Flexitarian is more icy. Lunch Money is pretty like champagne, golden. And uh, this Hippo is purple. So I don't know, can you see them? I hope you can and I actually don't know which one I want. I am not going to take these two. Um, not only these two because these are pretty similar. They are bo both a little bit more rose toned. <sighs> don't come for me. I couldn't like for my life tell you the correct undertone so yeah um but i think this one from h&m i really love it but this isn't available and haven't been for years so i don't think it's fun to like i normally don't care if products base products are available or not but like i don't i can't recommend this so i don't think i will take this one so okay, these three left. I think I want to take Hippo because I don't use it. So this one, but then I don't know. I use Lunch Money much more than Flexitarian, but also I think I don't want two more cold, cold tune, toned. That is so hard for me, cold toned. Highlighters. I think I want one warmer, so I think I will go with Lunch Money actually. So Lunch Money and Hippo, even though Flexitarian looks amazing, is I need to look for myself. But I think I actually will take Lunch Money because I want some <laughs> variation. And this month I have had one cold toned and one warm toned and it has worked so good it hasn't feel like I've been missing out on anything so I think these it's the way to go 
at least for me. So yeah, these are my things for April. So the sculpt... Can you find me? Are you in focus? So these... This is sculpt from NYX. I love this so much. So this for contour. For my blushes I have these two. So bang bang you're dead from Makeup Revolution or Revolution. And flushed from Sleek. And then these two highlighters. So Hippo from Colourpop and also Lunch Money. This is a pretty big dent, isn't it? <laughs> it is. So that was all for my shop, my stash. I think this is fun actually and I have really enjoyed <laughs> this so far. I though have two new highlighters and a highlight palette that I haven't used yet and I don't know how I will continue with this. I think it's I just going to let myself use other things than my shop my stash maybe once a week or something because I have bought some new highlighters and blushes. So this is everything I'm going to use for April. Maybe, maybe not, I don't know. Next month I am thinking about doing palettes and I also think like, so in April I use these, in May I use... I can't sit like this because it's... should we move a little bit more? Uh, so in April I'm going to use this, in May... it feels so strange to say May... Uh, it's 2020 in May... Uh, in May I am thinking about using palettes and then I think maybe in June I am going to use whatever I feel like. So that's some plans I have for my shop my stash or some thoughts I have about my shop my stash. So I think maybe once a week. I usually film like at least three days a week, maybe four. And one of these days I'm going to use whatever I want. Maybe if I do a get red with me or something. But I'm going to focus on these things. But I think it's also like important to me like I have other products that I want to use and just because I'm doing a shop my stash this year I can't like not use my other things. It is a little bit harder for me I know because I don't use makeup on a daily basis like I don't use makeup when I go to work so it's easier if you do a shop my stash if you go to work and do your makeup every day and oh my god it's you can see all my things and that says February I know it's the end of March I'm so bad at it. fixing that Jesus I am all over and nowhere but yeah I really hope you like this video and I hope you still think it's fun with my shop my stash and yeah I hope I'll see you in the next one bye